So today we are looking at hook pad, part of hook theory. And the first thing we're going to do is open it up through your link and start a new project. And what you'll see is a screen that looks like this. And you'll see it's got a number of different settings across the top. It's got the main chords in the middle and the bottom is like our score with essentially bars and beats. And we can have a look at, at up the top looking at our timer signature. I'm just going to use 4-4 today. And we can have a look at changing keys and also different scales, which is quite exciting. And the other area is tempo. We can change in our playback speed. Some of the other settings we'll have a look through the video just to start with. We can add bars, and but today we're only going to work with about with the first eight. When we input our notes or our chords, we can use either the piano or the guitar fingering to help us out. Today we're just going to use the piano, but obviously if you're a guitarist, you can experiment with that as well. And essentially all we have to do is choose what progression we want to do and basically click on either the notes or the chord patterns up the top to input those sounds. So we're just going to input a very quick 12 bar blues to demonstrate. Now it's as easy as dragging these uh, bars across to be able to extend the sound. And once we do that, you can hear the different patterns in the accompaniment as well, how that changes. If you want to delete a chord, um, simple clicking on and pressing delete. So if we want to get a bit tricky, we can um, start playing around with essentially stretching, stretching the beat across different bars part of um, hook pad is that because you're working within this uh, framework the all of the bars connect to each other so if you want to delete and insert you either have to replace the one that you're doing or just drag them around a bit which does get a little bit fiddly so once you've manipulated them a little bit we can just see how that changes in the It has a loop function so that you can um, loop whatever chord pattern that you have. It will loop the whole chord pattern and you can then either improvise over the top with your own instrument or we can have a look at putting notes in over the top which we will in the second part of this video. But now we want to see if we can make it a little bit more interesting because we do have quite a lot of options to choose from. So we can add sevenths, ninths, elevenths. We also have the option for suspension notes and five of fives if you want to get um, into your harmony. You can also add in rests and that's quite simple by just clicking on this grey zero button. The best part about this is you can click on the sounds and work out if that's the sound that you want and quite easily change it. So that will get you started on how to input the chords and you can play around with it to try many different chordal progressions. Once you've completed your chord progression, you can then save your work. You can, you can then also export your work into different wave, MIDI and lead sheet options, which is a great option for the full version of Hookpad. So now we're going to look at how we input notes into Hookpad in this top notes section. And the same idea, we can either choose from notes across the top or choose from notes within the keyboard. 
Again, we can change the length by either dragging the length or also for this feature, there's this duration area, which is linked to keyboard shortcuts as well. These notes can also be copied and pasted, so you can copy and paste along and then manipulate them using the up and down arrows on your keyboard. Again, there's rest function like in the chord feature. This is where you may want to use the expanded version of this note section. Uh, to make it clearer for using the full chromatic scale. What you can do then is have a look at the mixing area, which is where you can choose different instruments to then, or different sounds to then play your song. And you can see each section, we've got a, the vocals, the harmony, and also the bass. So we can change all of those individuals. So change it to hear what the different sound settings are. Finally, another great feature is transposition where you can change the keys and just to hear what, what your chord progression sound like in different keys or if you wanted to improvise or compose a melody in a different key you can create as many loops as you want in all the different keys to test it out so today we've talked about how to input chords and individual notes within hookpad from here there's plenty to explore with this in browser program